Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of John's never ending list of random things to do. Back here with some more Celica Super content. This video will cover how to replace a 4 pin throttle position sensor and how to calibrate it. Above you'll see the pin configuration and below you'll see some values which you should get when you're checking the TPS. But I'll go ahead and show you a shortcut, something that has always worked for me. To perform this task, you need a set of filler gauge that has a 0.9mm, an analog multimeter, and some alligator clips. This job will be a lot easier if you remove the throttle body completely. To remove the TPS, loosen and remove these two Phillips screws, and it should fall right off. And if anyone is wondering, here's the Toyota part number. I ended up using an NTK TPS. And I'll be changing the hardware as well. Links to these items will be in the video description below. When installing the TPS, start at the 10 o'clock position, then slowly turn it clockwise. Now screw in some hardware to hold it in place. And if you tighten it too much, loosen it just a bit so you can move the TPS back and forth like so. Now you should place the 0.9mm gauge between these two points here. And make sure it's completely flush up against this edge right here. Using the analog meter and some alligator clips, you should be connected to IDL and E2. If you're using this exact meter, flip it to X10. Now hold on to the TPS and gradually turn it clockwise. You're trying to get that spot when the needle just barely deflects to the right. Once you hit that sweet spot, hold it tight and then tighten the screws down. Alright, so this is ready to be reinstalled. Now you'll want to test to see if it's calibrated correctly. Using a pair of jumpers, you'll want to jump these two wires here. It can be found sitting right next to the radiator reservoir. Then when you go inside to turn the key to the on position, the check engine light should be flashing like this. And when you press the gas just slightly, it should stop blinking. I hope this video was helpful. If it was and you liked it, give me those thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, help me with those subscribes. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys for the next random project.